We continue to observe the post-pandemic senior care M&A market with curiosity, with many cross currents of headwinds and tailwinds to make sense of. In our most recent valuation statistics, which includes prices and financials both publicly announced and confidentially disclosed to us, shed some light on the current market. First, the average price for skilled nursing facilities in the last four quarters soared 19% to $118,600 a bed from $98,000 per bed in calendar year 2021. Taking out the exceptionally high estimated price for StoneRise Healthcare SNFs, we still see the average price rising above $100,000 per bed for the four quarter period. With more facilities coming up for sale and rising interest rates or recession fears putting off acquisitions for some buyers, we may see fewer bidding wars for both well-performing and struggling facilities. But the sector could surprise us too, especially with the recent positive news coming from CMS. Assisted living communities sold on average for 178,700 per unit in the last four quarter period, down 4% from 2021's average of 186,800 per unit. Tepid occupancy growth and rising labor costs plagued many of the communities put up for sale by weary owners or their inpatient capital providers. SNFs go through those problems too, but AO communities just don't have as much upside from case or payer mix that SNFs can take advantage of. That's at least part of our reasoning. Finally, the much smaller independent living market that can experience larger swings in average price experienced a 17% increase in price from 177400 per unit in 2021 to 208300 per unit in the last four quarters. More stable occupancy during the pandemic and lower levels of staffing made the sector a safer bet, but we will see how the growth of active adult as a sector affects IL in the long term. We will cover each sector's changes in average cap rate in the coming weeks, and other updated, more granular valuation statistics will be soon available on 11 Pro LTC's analytics page.